Yo, do you ever find yourself over and hyper focusing on the negative comment and the sea of positive comments? So much to the point that that's all you can think about? Well, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned on how to overcome that. Let's go. What's going on fam? It's Nee, welcome to STEM Media. We want to empower your STEM journey. So if you are a STEM major or thinking about starting a STEM career and need more inspirational and creative content, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. All right, so check it out. I saw a friend who posted a comic. Uh, it was a little comic strip that really illustrated something that I know I've dealt with and maybe you have as well. It was a person sitting there and they were receiving all types of positive comments from several people and they were just kind of like, eh. It's not like it was rejected, but it's not like it was penetrating at all either. However, there was one negative comment. And the moment that person heard the negative comment, they were like, oh, it's true. Say it ain't so. I am the word. Why? Uh-huh. Help me. They were hyper-focused on that one negative comment. So much so that they let that one negative comment, that one piece of negative feedback, define how they felt about themselves. That's something we all are tempted to do. Oftentimes it's because we've already been saying negative things in our head. So when that one per negative comment comes, somehow we get so hung up on it that we never appreciate all of the positive and encouraging things that we get back. Now, I'm not saying that we are to ignore things that are valid that we need to listen to and maybe allow it to edify us as we move forward. But the fact of the matter is that some of you, myself included, get over focused on that one negative review, that one negative comment, that one piece of negative feedback that we lose confidence in what we're supposed to be doing moving forward. So what do we do? How do we avoid this trap when it comes to focusing too much on that negative, that small fraction of negative feedback? I was listening to the Academy podcast with one of the leaders that I admire quite a bit, Dr. Kartenberg. When you're leading something big, obviously you're gonna have a lot of people, a lot of haters, a lot of people that say negative things about you. Well, he said, grab a blank sheet of paper, something like this, like uh, some printer paper that is completely blank that allows you to really create and do whatever you want on it. You take your pen or your pencil and you put one dot. Can you all see that dot? All right, let me put another dot just in case that one isn't visible. All right, I put another dot right next to it. Can you see that? This is a pretty good camera. All right, let me try one more time. All right, here we go. Here's another dot, right? Whether or not you can see this dot, this dot represents that one piece of negative feedback that you got that you're focused on. However, on this big old canvas, there's plenty of room where you can continue to create, where you can continue to make and do the great things that you're destined to do. That one person who commented under our picture on social media, that one person that didn't seem to smile or clap when we got finished with our performance, that one person that didn't quite like it and we focused so much on that one dot. And we forget about the entire space of positivity and room for growth that we can continue to do what we're called to. Back it up a little bit. Back it up. The same way that I held it to you from where I am now, back it up. And instead of focusing on that one piece of comment, use this sheet of paper to help remind you that that is just a very, very small fraction in the sea of positivity that still exists about your situation. Whenever you find yourself getting frustrated because not everyone clapped or getting frustrated because that one person that doesn't seem to get the, the motive and what you're explaining when you post. Let's not get too hung up on that one dot in the middle of the page that is our opportunity to continue to create. So continue to be. Don't let the dot define you. Whatever it is right now, get out sheet of paper, physically hold on to it, go and put a dot. If it's two negative comments, put another dot. Maybe it's three, right? <laughs> Who knows, whatever it is, Make sure you pull it back and you recognize that that is just a small fraction. Can't let yourself get too focused on that one dot because there's so much more room for positivity and growth. Shout out to Dr. Carlton Bird. Shout out to the Academy Podcast for where I got this. I've started using this and this has helped me to refocus myself in a very tangible, physical way. And if you think this is something that somebody else can benefit from, take it, send it to them, encourage them in their journey, whether they're a grad student, Maybe they're a professional. Maybe they're someone that's trying to create something that they really are passionate about. Have a great day. Much love.